We know that older adult falls are preventable. CDC's Inpatient Guide offers healthcare providers and healthcare systems 10 steps to incorporate into their clinical workflow. The core components of study are to screen, assess, and intervene to prevent falls. Incorporating the core components of study into healthcare practice starts with screening for falls. During the admission process, healthcare systems can screen all older patients for fall risk using the three key questions. Have you fallen in the past year? Do you feel unsteady when walking or standing? Do you have a fear of falling? Older adults at risk for falls can benefit from a multifactorial fall risk assessment to identify their risk factors. Multidisciplinary teams can collaborate to conduct the assessments, such as physical therapy for gait strength and balance tests and pharmacists for medication review. It's important to coordinate care between healthcare services, both during hospitalization and post-discharge for continuation of care, such as referral for community fall prevention programs. The University of California, San Francisco integrated a fall prevention program by adapting their electronic health record to include a prompt to screen all older adults for fall risk. Actions that helped integrate fall prevention into inpatient clinical practice include incorporating or customizing tools within the electronic health record to assess and identify risk factors for falls, creating a list of community resources built into the electronic health record to include a patient's discharge summary, such as physical and occupational therapists in their area, and resources for local area agencies on aging including fall risk reduction recommendations and the discharge summary to primary care providers for continuation of care after hospital discharge, and incorporating the oral morphine equivalent calculator into the electronic health record to generate daily levels of opioid and other medicines for medication management.